Welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McKellion, also known as the Stats Guy. I'm here with Marcus Barzano. Very excited. We've just come off a live stream doing the Netherlands-Sri Lanka game, which has been pretty exciting. Yeah. Netherlands are hoping the Paul can somehow hold on. Mm. How you been? And uh, exciting T- T20 World Cup? Oh, it's been so exciting. We've got the Bangladesh and the Paul game yep. on the screen as well next to us. So that's really good. It's really close. Um, Bangladesh have to lose. Netherlands have to win. Netherlands off to a great start with yep. the bat in that game as well. But I'm, yeah, I'm secretly barracking for the Netherlands. They haven't had as much success, mm-hmm. I think, in the past as Bangladesh. So Netherlands making out of the group stage would be a great story. How crazy yeah. is this? Well, we had a, a viewer comment. Yeah. This is crazy. The Super 8, there's going to be no New Zealand, no Pakistan, no, no Sri Lanka, and almost no England as well. Crazy. Crazy. It's unbelievable. This has been a crazy T20 World Cup. Pakistan not making it out. USA mm. making it through just is unbelievable. Yep. Uh, before we start, though, make sure you subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. Subscribe and like the YouTube as well, as well as all the socials at Cricket Today, AU, at Cricket Today Podcast. Uh, we'll get into some news before we get into our Yeah, Nars and Game Wraps. So we'll start with the news. Aussies, they didn't really rest players. We let uh, Ashton Agar have his first game in the yep. T20 World Cup. So he, he did, did okay with the ball. After uh, Hazelwood came under scrutiny for his comments, the the media sort yeah. of ate, ate the Aussies alive when they said they the might English rest media. some players. The English media mainly, which yeah. we don't care about too much over here, but it was pretty interesting. It was. It was, it was a bit of a shame, actually, for Josh English not to get a go. But Yeah, I thought he would. Because yeah. um, I had him in my player to watch. You did? You did? But well, we he still got again. a lot of views on that, and he didn't even play. So <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, I think even with the players that we bring in, mm. we still should be expected to win that game. Yeah, Ashton Agard's experienced. Yeah. You've got yeah. a lot of other guys that can come in, yeah. We'll get to it uh, later on, but Scotland gave us a game. Yeah, Scotland, Scotland were awesome. We'll, yeah, we'll get into that. They, very unlucky that they got a washout in the first one because they could have progressed in they could this have been tournament. England. Yeah. That was very frustrating. Another one that a lot of people are rejoicing about. I don't. I didn't mind the US pitches, but no more games in the US. I've seen a lot of comments going, thank God for that. Thank God mm. all the games are in the West Indies. Definitely being better pitches and... Uh, I wouldn't Indies. say atmosphere, but definitely the better pitches. Yeah, a few shaky ones. You got uh, the temporary stadiums already coming down. They just built it two weeks ago. Oh, no, would already bringing it down. But I think it was U.S. cricket has done really well. They've made it out of the group stage. There was actually some pretty yeah. big fan bases there. There's people bowling in the middle of Times Square. So pretty pretty good outcome, I think. When I people think so. thought, and, and it's great. Yeah. To, it's great that America have advanced to the, to yeah. the Super Eights. That, that's just in their first ever World put Cup. Put on the map a bit more, but like yeah. yeah, like you said about the stadium, it's just. They're just building them like Lego at the moment and knocking yeah. them down. So They were interviewing some baseball fans in Times Square and they're, they're like, do you know much about cricket? And he's like, yeah, we just made it out. We just beat Pakistan. We're, <laughs> we're so good. We're the greatest team in the world. It's just America oh. thinking they're the best at everything. But it is exciting in cricket because they're trying to grow it in America. And if they, if they keep winning, then it's going to help. And it's good to see it grow in America like despite the low scores because yeah. it's all about entertainment at the end of the day. And yeah. People would rather see... Big sixes, Big sixes. but as cricket wickets. fans, we don't mind seeing wickets and tough, yeah. tough yeah, bat, yeah. Uh, yeah. batting pitches. At yeah. least bowlers can actually have a say in a game mm. rather than getting smacked for 230 yeah. no, like in the IPL. Yeah, but yeah, amazing effort by US, which uh, we'll touch on in the Super 8. I can't believe they're in the Super 8. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll go, yeah, nah. This is the one that we've been talking about. A few Afghanistan fans on our live stream just before. Can Afghanistan win the World Cup? I can't believe I'm saying that. They've got the uh, the up there in the stats. Have you got yeah. some of the stats there? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they can. Yeah, they 100%. Can. Ooh. Uh, they got the top wicket taker in Gerbaz, uh, top run scorer in Gerbaz. Gerbaz, yeah. Who's got 167 runs behind Stoinis and uh, Travis Head. But yeah. Gerbaz has played a game less. That's crazy. Um, so he's still going to play the West Indies very soon. Yep. Um, and they also do have the top wicket taker in Faruku, who's got 12 oh, wickets. The Faz. And again, who's played a game less than Zampa and Norkia on nine. That, so, is, that is crazy. That, but, but not only that, not only good individual performances, they've been great as a team as well. Mm. Like Rashid Khan's getting wickets. Rashid's been great, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and the other opening partnership has been doing... I think they're sneaky. Effort. I think now they probably want to make the top, the last four, the quarter, quarters or whatever the they semis. call it. Semis, sorry. The semis. Yeah, yeah. I think that's their goal from here because they've yeah. been amazing. I think they've got the best net run rate, just mm. been demolishing teams. Even... Even if they can, if they can get over West Indies, they'll be confident. They they can win a World Cup, their first ever World Cup. Hundred yeah. percent. That'll be just such a great story. And, yeah. And inside me, I'm kind of rooting for yeah, Afghanistan. Yeah. If to win Australia this. don't win, I think we're on Afghanistan bandwagon. Yeah. Is there a chance it could be Australia Afghanistan? Ooh. Final? They match up really well against. I'm not the sure if well. like how the the form. No, uh, I, I think it's possible. I'm pretty sure they're okay. on different sides, but we'll have to look into that. Yeah. But yeah, Afghanistan. That, that would be unbelievable. The fact that they're not relying on Rashid Khan every tournament ever. Afghanistan mm-hmm. have been in probably. They've just relied on Rashid Khan with the bat and the ball. Yeah. But they haven't relied on him at all. Yeah. Well, just having a look here, I think we can play Afghanistan in the okay. final because yeah. we're in the same group in the Super 8. Yes. And then it splits off after that, doesn't yes. it? Yeah. Okay. 
That'd be that'd be pretty cool. No one would have predicted an Afghanistan Australia final except for Afghanistan fans. A few, yeah, they filling out comments was yep. pretty cool. All right, let's get into some game wraps. Before I'm going to say that we're road to 1,000. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're very excited trying to what are we talking about 750 now. 754. 754. Okay, we have got a few from the TikTok there. That's very handy. So yeah, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. I've said that probably too many times already, <laughs> and I will not say that again. Homie's like too many. Too many. Yeah, I think I've said it <laughs> enough now. Game wraps. Uh, we'll start off. We don't like talking about the English, but they absolutely demolished or rated. They did. Aman. Aman bowled out for 47 after 13.2 overs, which yep. I was surprised they even lasted that long. Yep. England, 50 for two off three, uh, 3.1 overs. They made their 50, the 50 runs 50 in runs three overs. overs. Is that the fastest ever 2020 win? Yep. It it's the, in the least amount of balls because the Australia yep. uh, game against Namibia was, was the least ever yeah, balls. Five overs. Five overs. Just this is, imagine you paid to go to this game. Some of the tickets are probably like $50. It didn't even, it didn't even go to 20 overs combined. <laughs> yeah. It only went 16. Unreal. 16.3 overs combined. Yeah. But they needed that. England. N- that's the reason why England are going through now because of that net run rate. They needed yep. to up their net run rate. Their net run rate is amazing because of that win. Yeah, yeah. It, it turned from negative 1.8 to positive one, uh, positive 3.6. That's crazy. In one um, game, yeah. Real. Who were the standouts, Marcus, in this one? Oh, that's a good question. Adil Rashid with the ball. Yeah. Um, didn't have the best of starts, I'd no. say, to the tournament because he's the number one 2020 bowler in the world. Yeah. Um, but Mama he took ranked. four for 11. Mm-hmm. Um, Do, yeah, doing his best Zampa impression because Zampa got four for 12 the other day. So Yeah, he's copying <laughs> exactly. Just, he's, just copying, he's just copying Zamp's to go. <laughs> Um, but again, just the English players didn't really have to do much with the bat, did they? Nah. Just a couple of players chipped in. Yeah, Josh Butler got 24 yep. not out of 11, did it too easy. England, unfortunately, progressed. We were really, oh, uh, no, as a, as a, a Scottish no. background, we were, I was very excited. We all were backing for Scotland to make it out of the group stage. Yep. Uh, yeah, in their, I don't know, I think it's their second or third World Cup. So awesome effort by Scotland in this tournament, but very unlucky. Yeah, they, I, that rain in the first game has cost them. I oh, know, they were none for 90, just a oh, reminder, after 10 overs against, against England. England. They, so they, made, they, they, made, they made 180 against Australia, which we'll touch on. So they could have yeah. made a decent score. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, England go through. They they just needed that and were pretty clutch in that game. Next one I'm going to talk about, which was came down to the very last ball. South Africa, 115 for seven off their 20 overs. Mm. Nepal, I literally messaged you guys. They I jinxed the them. I said, they're on here, Nepal. They're going to get their first win in T20 World Cup. Oh, and they crumbled. Um, 114 for seven. Last ball run out. What the South hell South Africa win by one run. Oh, it was a great game. It was a classic. awesome game, yeah. They got a chance to, to avenge themselves here. Oh, um, come on, Nepal. They need 22 or 15 to beat Bangladesh as we're currently recording. Uh, we're watching the game yeah. as well. So that'll do good for the Netherlands as well, mm. who, who started well. But again, it was heartbreak for Nepal because they've played well throughout this tournament. Oh, they have. They just can't get over the line. Yeah. Exactly. Just, um, yeah. So hopefully they get the win against Bangladesh uh, as of now. But look... It was sort of one that you that say you, they did drop that. Yeah, well, this one pencils South Africa out for me as frauds. This one's like I'm not putting South yeah. Africa in the likes of West Indies, Afghanistan, Australia, India. Yep. I'm I'm not saying they can win this tournament. I think they're going to go out possibly in the Super Eights or mm. or just straight out of the Super Eights. I think. Yeah, look, because Super yeah. Eights top two go through from yep. each group, and and the groups get even harder from there. They're not in the top four, four best teams right now. No yeah, way, 100%. because you like should you should be beating Nepal pretty easily if you're South Africa. Impromptu. Yeah. I'll do second group stage out of Afghanistan, Australia, India, England, South Africa, America, West Indies. Are South Africa oh. the worst out of those teams? And obviously... Oh, USA's I'm, in there, did you say? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're better but than like, USA. In terms of form, they're not. Exactly. But yeah, I think in the USA big moments... USA and South Africa are in the same group, which okay. is handy. Okay. Yeah, so they might not be the worst, but they're not going to make it through. Actually, mm. they're in a group with England and West Indies. Looking at that, they're not going to make it out of the group stage. England are better, England West, West Indies, Indies are better. Make it through. Hmm. And people were saying they were a dark horse for the whole thing this year. So mm. South Africa have crumbled. Uh, Nepal, really good classy bowling performance, but just didn't get it done when it mattered. That run no. out of the end. He didn't. He, he got hit by the ball, didn't ground his yep. bat properly. Oh, it's just guttering for Shocking. Nepal. South Africa got over the line. They were like, it's like they won the World Cup. They were that excited, but yep. just got over the line against uh, Nepal. So that's and a bit they, of a worry. South Africa, like, they four wins from four, but their net run rate was only... 0.47. Really? So all, always um, had a tight match. And as we're saying, this Nepal lost a wicket. So Oh, no. Uh, they might looks like they might lose Come another on, close Nepal. one. Get, a, get your first win. We're, we're excited. We've actually got a few Nepal uh, people commenting, so that's yeah. pretty exciting. All right, last one. We love talking about the Aussies. Last game wrap. Scotland batted first against the Aussies. 180 for five. Put up 180. That's a great score. One of the best yeah. scores in this tournament. Some of the pitches have been so hard to bat on. Yep. Australia. Clutch in the end, but this got really close. 186 yeah. for five. 19.4, so it came down to the last over, Marcus. Oh, we should have thrown it. <laughs> we should have thrown, we it, so England, thrown it. If we lost this game, what would happen? Oh, hey, Scotland would have progressed. England, England knocked oh. out. That oh. would have been great. And and it just happened to be because <laughs> Scotland and England sort of rivalry. Yeah. 
um, just Australia, England, not only Australia, England, 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 England yeah. but also Scotland, Scotland England. England in sport, yeah. Um, but again, England, you just got to thank Australia because we're your big brother. We're, <laughs> we're just, yeah. We're England just, aren't gone too far in this tournament, I don't think. Anyway. No, I don't think so. Not from what we've seen. But also, Scotland were really, they should, head, heads held high. I know they didn't make it out of the group, but they were mm. really good in this tournament. They were? You had, uh, I called this in uh, the short we did up on uh, Brock over in the uh, socials. Brandon McMullen. Brandon McCullum from Wish. Yep. Or whatever you want to call him. You called it. He, he's put on a Brandon Basball McCullum performance. That's a tongue twister and a half. <laughs> saying McMullen and McCullum. 60 off 34. He was awesome. He was. He, he was the reason he called why. the half century. Yeah. He was the reason why Scotland ended up with 180. Yep. And then our batters just took over. The bowlers were horrible yeah. in this game. Only 10 wickets combined. Mm. But yeah, who was the uh, Aussie batters that took over? Look, Stoinis uh, was Clutch. really, really good. 59. Yeah. Big puppy. Of only 29. Travis said scored his... First sort of yep. runs for the tournament. 68, uh, 68 yeah. or 49. Yep. So, look. A bit some, of confidence, hopefully. Some positive signs, particularly for players who are out of form heading into this tournament mm. in both Travis Head, who, who didn't get past. He got past uh, double figures yeah, for one. the last five games. Yeah, yeah. And, and Marcus Stoinis as well, who Two people 50s. were saying he shouldn't be picked. Yeah, including us, I think. But he's and, been great. He's yeah, been and great. He, he led uh, Australia to a win against Oman. And mm. now against Scotland. So. Yeah. Oh, good on him. He's been great throughout this tournament. The big, the big story. Uh, the one I'm worried about, this is a bit of impromptu as well, uh, Glenn, Glenn Maxwell. Maxi. Yes. We absolutely love him. A lot of Aussie supporters love him. He made 11 off eight again. C- can he keep getting... Does he keep getting picked? Well, he, I think only because he's... He's he good in the big spin. moments. And he, he got a couple of wickets. Yes. But he got smacked. Two for 44. You can pencil him playing against Afghanistan. Okay. Yeah. But just based off the ODI World Cup. Yep. Oh, yeah. When he made 200. When he made 200 on one leg. On one leg. Yep. So it's a bit of, sort of a mentality thing, but could we see Ashton Agar come in? Because he's possibly he is a he, better he's spinner. He's handy with the bat, yeah, and he's, and and he's, he's a better, better spinner. spinner. Possibly, maybe after the Afghanistan game, because Afghanistan will be nervous playing against Glenn Maxwell. Yes, exactly. So that'd be um, pretty cool. So that should be interesting to see whether Glenn Maxwell retains his place throughout the rest. Yeah, of the which tournament. is a crazy thing to say because well, I think he should. should. Yeah, I think he should just because he's a big moments player. He's proven that. Yeah. But I think if he doesn't go well in the next game, possibly Agar. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Could be up there. I, I don't mind that. I wouldn't have said that at the start of the tournament. I don't. I didn't rate Agar that much, but Maxi's he's, <laughs> he's been cooking, cooking it. Uh, all right, that's all the game wraps. Let's go tipping results so far. You're still winning, twenty-seven just, to twenty-six. Just, you penciled it back though. I penciled it back. I was two it's behind. Uh, all we know is Tom, Leo and Tom are going in the nets. Yeah, they, they've gone AWOL. They haven't forgot to do their tips. They're just yeah, they're they're partying in Bali they're and Europe. Yeah, forgot to do the. And then Olivia's Honestly. also forgot. I think she's. She's not happy with Leo tipping. Uh, the difference is we care about you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leo, yeah, yeah. Leo was tipping uh, on this show Sri Lanka. Don't ever tip Sri Lanka. This is no. unless it's in this game against uh, who are they playing the Netherlands. They've gone. The right. Netherlands are like they, <laughs> they're, when, they're we t- when we switched it over it was yeah. for fifty. Actually, let me have a quick look at that. So. We can have a live look at that. They are. You caught up in the Bangladesh. Two for game. sixty-two. I caught up in the Bangladesh game. I tipped Bangladesh uh, mm-hmm. against the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. I tipped Netherlands. So I was pretty happy with that. So. But one, I'm still one off you in the uh, tips. All right, quick fire tip for this one. Doesn't mean anything, unfortunately, for New Zealand fans. I can't believe they're not progressing. Yeah. New Zealand versus PNG. Surely we have to go New Zealand. They'll yeah, finish strong in the tournament. We go to New Zealand here. Look, I love the the Papua New Guinea kit. Yeah. Kit. Yeah. Um, the the, <laughs> the disco fans. pants as well. Disco pants. Yeah. Um, it was superb. But look, it was just great to see them part of a major tournament. Yeah. Um, that'll improve for the next. It's good one, experience yeah. for them. Yep. And New Zealand as well, not going through. Dead rubber, so maybe give some experience to the couple of players yeah. that haven't played a game. Yeah, so they might far. even rest some of the other guys, but yeah. Tra- I, I still think Trent Bolt will play because he just loves getting wickets. So I think I think so. Like it, it could be his last one of his last major tournaments. It so. could be. Yeah. So you got to give him. The we game. like retiring but New Zealand players on this show for some reason. 100%. So. <laughs> yeah. Southie, go on. Southie, Trent go on. Trent Bolt. Go on. Oh, he's got a lot of wickets. <laughs> Trent Bolt. I reckon he's going to get he's a three, five, four, four in this. Well, three, four, four, four in this, and uh, yeah, New Zealand will be pretty easy. Yep. The big game, though, huge game. Both teams undefeated which I didn't think I'd be saying at the start of the tournament. I said mm. West Indies were my dark horse. West Indies versus Afghanistan. Huge game, Marcus. I'm going to ask first, standout player in this one. Who's going to be Who's going to be the standout player? Oh, well, just because I'm a KKR fan, oh. I wanna, I'm leaning towards Dre Russ. Okay. He hasn't done, like, superb. Yep. Um, but, like, the, the West Indies have so many players that can win you a game. Yeah. Whereas in Afghanistan have the same as well. They've just been really good as a team. Yep. Um, from an Afghanistan point of view, probably looking at Faruqi again. Faruqi, yeah. Because um, yeah, yeah. I think you have the capability of getting the West Indies out for a low score. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll either make not much, yep, or they'll make 200. Yeah. Uh, that's just how the West Indies roll. That's the way they play. That's their nature. So if they can get a few early wickets, I think 
um, Afghanistan could be well on top. Afghanistan, all right. I'm gonna tip Who are you going to tip? Oh, Afghanistan. Oh, I am. I'm going different to you. I'm going. Why not? I will make it interesting. Think that yeah, West Indies were my dark horse for the whole tournament. They're just really good at home. Yep. They've been amazing this tournament, smashing everyone. Same as Afghanistan. I'm going to tip them. My standout player. Who am I going to go? I'll go for Afghanistan. I'll I'll go. There was a guy that made a couple of 40s. Zadran. He's our other opener with yes. Gerbaz. Yes. He's been pretty solid. Yeah, he's been good. Made a couple of 40s because yep. they've had really good punishes. He's I think sort he's of been the, the Robin to Gerbaz's Batman. Yeah, he has. He has. And then you've got uh, Alzari Joseph. Everyone talked yes. up Shamar Joseph in the Aussie summer. But Alzari Joseph has lifted his game. He's got a lot more change-ups than he used to have. Mm. Not just trying to bowl as fast as he can. Yep. So I think he's going to get a couple of wickets. And the West Indies He should celebrate a bit more, though. I know. He got, what did he get? Three, three wickets last game. He's just like this after he gets a wicket. What are you doing, mate? I know. What are you doing? Just Pencil get up and about. Get the crowd up and about. But get again, about. this is a bit of a dead yeah. rubber because the Windies are already They're already in through, right? Two. Yeah. Like the group's already decided no matter who finishes. But it's an exciting game, I think. First and exciting second, game I believe. Because they're both uh, undefeated. It is. Yeah. They're two of the best, two or one of the better teams in yep. the tournament. Mm. So again, if you're not watching that, Make sure you get your eyes on those screens. Yeah, awesome. That's our tips for the next couple of days. All right, that's Stumps for the Cricket Today show. We'll be back with this on Thursday. That is the start of the Super 8. So we're going to wrap up the first two Super 8s games, which is very exciting. Yep. It's a whole new tournament, pretty much. It's so know, long, this we're tournament. We're going from a group stage <laughs> to another, to group, another stage. group stage. But they've just made it sound cool, Super 8. So we're going into the Super 8s. So we'll do a few wraps uh, for the USA. I can't remember who they're South playing. South Africa. Yep. And then who's the other Super 8? England, West Indies. England, West Indies. So they're going to be really exciting, and we'll give some tips for the rest of the games. So get right around the show, uh, all the socials. That's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X at Cricket Today AU. Send in any questions, all the comments we absolutely love. Check out some of the live streams that we'll be doing. We yeah, just, we'll be we just doing randomly some, pop up a live stream. We'll randomly pop up and we'll, we'll be doing a live stream for an Australia game yes. as well. So make sure to follow us on TikTok. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you very much, Marcus. Thanks, that's Thanks, awesome. homie, behind the camera. Thanks to me. Yeah.